All right, I just filmed my what I got for Christmas video. That will be up like today. So this is probably gonna be up in a week, so you've already seen it. Probably, Merry Christmas everyone. Um, it feels weird not to vlog since Vlogmas is over, so I decided to vlog anyway. I wanna try out vlogging with the selfie stick I got. I never thought I'd be a selfie stick person, but I, I'm gonna try it out. So let's see everyone. Well guys, this is me vlogging with the uh, selfie stick. I'm going to import the footage from my haul onto Final Cut Pro. And then, oh sorry, I'm trying to make this not shaky. And then we'll go downstairs and see what everyone else is up to. This is so weird. I kind of like it though. Would you agree that one of the greatest fun parts of Christmas is after gifts are open and everyone's hanging out, you get to try out all the new things you got? I just love that. I'm trying to see if this is going to be shaky or not. I was hoping it would help me stabilize. We're going down the stairs. Well, the weather outside is fine. Okay. Let's see what's going on in the kitchen. Hello, everyone, from my selfie stick. All right. Doesn't it look cool? See, I get the whole like wide oh, angle. I know. Wow. So let's go through the kitchen with it and not hit anyone with it. So now you have a whole That's new the perspective. A whole new world. A dazzling camera. No. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> Bird's eye view. How are you doing? <laughs> Wave to the world. Okay, so lots of cooking going on here. Michael Bublé is playing. Yes, ma'am. Hello. I, hello. I would like to say something, can I? Yeah. I want to thank all of you for watching my daughter Christie's oh. videos. And obviously you enjoy them because you keep coming back. And she loves it, and I do too. So Merry Christmas, everyone. Oh, that was cute. Thanks, Mom. I'll show you the aftermath. There's lots of tissue paper. This is really loud, I'm sorry. But yeah, all the gifts have been open. It's like 40 p.m. I'm gonna be having way too much fun with this stupid selfie stick. Go into the family room. Oh, it's so nice and calm in here compared to the craziness downstairs. It's so pretty out today. I hope you guys had an awesome Christmas as I am having. And I'll have you know, if you watched my last day of Vlogmas, my dad loved the present I made, so I was really proud. Nice lighting in our laundry room. Not the best of backgrounds, but. Import complete already, nice. Let's see if it's in focus. I'm kind of scared that it's not in focus. Oh, looks good. Looks good. Okay, I'm gonna take this downstairs and edit it while I hang out with them and upload it for you guys. So, I'll see you later. It is the day after Christmas, AKA the saddest day of the year. Today's the day I need to actually buckle down and make a list and like make sure I know that I have everything I need and um, clean my room and organize stuff and maybe do some laundry of clothes that have been wrinkled and put away things that I'm not taking and all that stuff. I'm trying to get used to not daily vlogging now because I'm so used to it over the last month. Um, so this is like unnecessary. So I don't know why I just, I think I just wanted to film with my selfie stick. So I'm gonna go and I'll film when there's something exciting happening because that's what I will put in this vlog. Okay, bye. Hi guys, so it is Monday now. It is officially one week until my departure. One week from today is when I fly down to San Diego and then a week from tomorrow, I get on the ship. I'm filming with the selfie stick again. Um, I won't take this with me today, but today my mom and I are going shopping to pick up all the last minute things I need and then pick up prescriptions from Costco and this and that and just running errands that I need to do before I pack. I went through like so many um, different packing lists online of different people's blogs and things people have gone on this before and so I kind of compiled a list of things that I needed to buy so it's really just kind of boring stuff things like bug spray with deet I need to stock up on makeup wipes I think I'm gonna get a GoPro today I need to replace my Kindle that I broke and just like little things like travel tissues and anti-wrinkle spray and boring things like that so um, that's where we're going to today I'm gonna take you with it'll be fun Let's hope. And then tomorrow I'm getting my hair done, thank God. I'm so excited because we went to the bank. I ordered a credit card, I've never had a credit card, and I had to get one to go abroad to buy things because I, you need like to use one with a microchip um, overseas a lot of places and no foreign transaction and blah, 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 blah. It's just safer to travel with a credit card than a debit card in case it gets lost. So we went and we went to the bank thinking we would have to talk to them about how 
um, we need to expedite it because it wasn't gonna be here on time, but they had it, so I got it. And there's my mom. Hello, mom. Hello, everybody. Is someone there? Um, yeah, Tina's in there, but oh. she's got the clothes sign out because she doesn't have another customer after this one. Mm, so. Gotcha. But no auto shut off flat iron. She doesn't have any flat irons right now. She'd have to order. Because I still have to get a straightener that shuts off on its own. We are currently looking at every possible protein bar in America. Mom has just reduced herself to looking at candy bars instead um, to look at alternatives to meals in places that I cannot eat the food because of my allergy to nuts. And all of these have nuts too. So um, if you have suggestions, something with protein and that's small and easy to carry around that doesn't go bad that I can eat when I cannot find something that doesn't have nuts, Please comment below. At this point, I'm pretty much thinking I'm just gonna be living off of beef jerky. But I've also found things such as edamame and these little gummy energy things that probably are horrible for you. And we're gonna try a variety of these like special case things that supposedly don't have nuts. But I have my, um, you know, 911 on standby in case they do have traces of them. I just got a GoPro and I was so excited to try it out. I'm gonna take the memory card out of this camera and insert clips of me trying my GoPro here. Like, I hate the word vlogception, but like, can we just talk about this? I'm doing like a live play of, it's hard to like keep track of what I'm filming what. I have a micro SD card, but it's a two, class two, two speed, but not class 10, which is what the camera needs. So I think it just doesn't, it's not gonna hold enough footage. I have something to try it with, but it's just so fun. Like such a wide angle, look at all this stuff. I'm so excited to use this. Ah, and of course, with the selfie stick my mom got me, I'm officially ready to go on a ship. On a ship. All right guys, so I've just been sitting here. It's already almost 9 p.m., what? I'm setting up my new Kindle. I just set it up and I'm downloading the books that I'm gonna wanna have on it. I got the same Kindle that I had before. It's just the paper white, uh, except it's newer version. Cause I got my paper white like a couple years ago. I'm putting tons of books on my Kindle, like downloading them on my actual device so I can read them while I'm on the ship with the Wi-Fi. And it's like starting to feel so real. I was talking to so many people about my trip today. Um, like this guy who I used to work with in my first job at a restaurant. He worked at the bank that I was going to today. And he's going on a trip to also, um, he's going to different countries, but he's also, we're going to a couple of the same countries and um, we're gonna be in Myanmar at the same time, which is just like so funny. Um, like what a small world is that? I'm documenting this on the vlog in case I die, but um, I, my mom is forcing me to try I'm a macadamia not forcing. nut. Forcing, come on. Now. Basically, she's peer pressuring me into trying a macadamia nut. Pressuring me into trying a macadamia nut. I think it would be good if you. Could. Anyway, so I've always thought that I was allergic to all peanuts and all all peanuts, peanuts and all tree nuts. Macadamia nut is a tree nut. But we recently looked at this test. You know what is that called? I don't know what it is. Immunoassay test. Yeah, something like that that I took in was that like seventh grade? Two thousand and seven. Seventh grade, um, or maybe late sixth grade. But it said that I was extremely allergic to peanuts, which we knew. And what was the other one that was like extreme? Was that cashews? Walnut. walnut. Super allergic to walnuts, right? So, um, so it was like off the charts. Over 100 was the number. And it basically said I was allergic to all foods, but a very small bits. Of it. it would say like 0.2 garlic. Actually, garlic was like four which was weird, um, but things I eat and like don't react to. And it was weird because like most of the nuts, like the other nuts were like 60 or like 35, which is like pretty high. Um, but macadamia nut was 1.5 or something. And all the other nuts were like 40. And I, other things that I eat all the time were like more than that. Like 1.87 was like wheat or something like that. So my mom's convinced that I'm not actually allergic to macadamia nuts and I'm so scared to try it. Anyway, that was a long explanation, but I wanted to vlog this experience in case I die. So, oh, <laughs> so we're so starting scared. out slow. We have Kirkland dry roasted macadamia nuts. They don't smell bad. Like usually, well, I guess it's just peanuts, but the smell makes my like stomach like turn. But this smell like crackers to me, but it's probably the salt. Take a little bit. 
Okay, now just wait. Let's put it back here. Oh, I just licked it a little bit. Now I feel like there's so much like mental like prep for this that my, I'm gonna like trick myself into thinking I'm reacting to it even if I'm not, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna take, you're gonna have to turn this off because it's gonna take like, you know, I know. we're gonna wait for a long while. Feels like I'm licking paper. To be continued, I'll tell you if I die. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to uh, December 29th. I was about to say Vlogmas Day something, but I think this is probably gonna be the last day that I vlog for this video and put it together tonight. Um, probably because I think I have enough footage, but I am going to actually do packing today. I have no excuse to put it off anymore because now we bought everything. Yeah, so my hair appointment is not till 4.45. It's only noon now, so I'm gonna eat some lunch and actually get going on dividing stuff up and packing and organizing and all that stuff and then go and get my hair done today, finally. All right, everyone, packing is in full swing. We've got organizers galore. We're packing some toiletries. Look at all these travel size things. I feel such traveler. Got a nice bag at Costco. This thing is cool. Here, I'm just gonna demonstrate with what's in here. What you do is you just kind of string it up like this. It gathers all your stuff in a little bag. Bada bam, you're ready to go. You know, it lays out flat so you can see everything. Uh, I probably wouldn't use this kind of stuff like this, but. Packing all the other goodies More up here. Stuff. I'm taking those two big duffel bags. This big backpack is my carry-on, and then probably just like a small purse. Getting my hair done. It's about time. I'm the only person in here. Here's the big reveal. This lighting actually sucks, but yay, look how blonde it is. Um, yeah, my hair was definitely in need because it was so dark on top as you guys saw earlier today but now it is much more blonde. It's not um, the lady that I usually go to in California because I'm obviously not in California right now and I mentioned this in an earlier vlog so like it looks a little different at the roots than it usually does um, but like it's so much better. Like it actually blends pretty, pretty darn well and it feels so light. Don't you love the feeling after you get your hair done and it never feels as good ever again <laughs> except when you go to a salon and like the ends are so much better and ugh. I'm watching this guy on C-SPAN, Matt Dillon, it says celebrity but I don't know who that is. He's talking about um, ethnic minorities in Burma and I'm going to Burma and I'm so excited so I'm listening to um, it. Who watches C-SPAN? Me. The malnutrition among the children. We met people who tried to s escape unsuccessfully. Little bags to put in your bags to contain your bags? I don't know. I feel like the fall time four months feels so much quicker than springtime. Like February through June, that feels like a long time. Like that four months feels like four months, but August to December like goes by so fast. I don't understand what that is. So I'm gonna head out, um, but I wanted to end this vlog before I do so I can edit it later. I'll see you guys then. Bye.